Kirsty Alsop has blasted Sir Keir Starmer following his interview on BBC Radio 4 today, calling the Labour Party leader humorless and defensive. Location, location, location presenter Kirsty Alsop, 51, has slammed Sir Keir Starmer after he appeared on BBC Radio 4 today to discuss the Labour Party's manifesto. The party leader was interviewed by Amol Rajan, whom Kirsty praised for calling out his B asterisk 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 S. Reacting live to the interview on the Today program. Kirsty took to Twitter to share her thoughts on the discussion in view of her 434,400 followers. OMG at Amol Rajan has gone rogue, the Channel 4 star wrote excitedly. At BBCR 4 today at last journalists are saying, this is bollocks what are you really saying? If this is the way forward we may start to get answers from our leaders, she added. In a follow-up tweet, Kirsty Penn, I don't want to vote for the current Conservative Party. Dot. I want to believe that Keir Starmer and at UK Labour can put the brakes on the handcart to hell. But this interview is very disappointing, he's being humorless, defensive and using media speak. Kirsty's followers took to the comments section to share their thoughts on the Labour leader. We don't need another comedian as Prime Minister. I really couldn't care less if he can't do a few minutes of comedy, wrote Thomas. I am looking forward to having a grown-up in charge. Added Catherine, while Bob replied, for comedy visit the Edinburgh Festival. Or you could continue to vote for the Conservatives. Responding to Kirsty's previous tweet, Mary commented, if only the liar Johnson and the other disastrous Tory leaders were challenged the country might not be in the state it is. Substance matters more than style, Katie added. If someone in a position of relative stability and wealth can see the damage done by Tories then that shows just how pervasive the damage is. It's always been the case that the majority of hard workers have to count pennies but right now. Carol mused, when they all start doing their party political broadcasts, I don't want discussions and accusations about the Tory government. We all know what's been going on there. I will only want to hear how they believe they can get us out of this mess. While June agreed with Kirsty, writing, I feel exactly the same. I really don't know why but just don't think he is right. Quote dot. The Labour politician has just announced he will launch his five national missions, which will be the building blocks of Labour's next manifesto. He is due to explain how Labour would transform the country if it wins the next general election and to discuss the serious plan the party has in place to provide more stability after years of the Tory government. These missions are set to cover five key themes, the NHS, the economy, crime, education and the climate crisis.